Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to church. Thank you so much for joining us for another time in God's presence. How have you all been? Very well, thank you. Surely me and Tom, there we have. I'm yeah. Sure fine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been an exciting two months, right? Because we've learned a lot, right? Yes. About so what? Much. I am not, not into, into bad, bad behavior. behavior. And I hope you've been on good behavior, right? I hope so too. But you know what? We're and gonna I mean, take I mean, each of I mean, all the topics that we we were taught for those two months. We're gonna go over them one after the other, other today. But before we do that, we're gonna welcome God's presence by saying a word of prayer. So, and Christine. Okay. So eyes closed in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you. We Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank, thank you, you for our family. Thank you for our friends. Thank, thank you, you for our teachers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Even as we're in your presence, we ask that you speak to our hearts. Amen. Teach us to know you and love you more. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. All right. With the end of that prayer, we know it's a start. For us, or should I say, it's time for us to join the praise, praise team, team for a time of praise and worship. Yeah. And then we're done. We'll be back to take the lessons one after the other. All right. All right. See you then. See you then. What an incredible God we serve. Incredible, incredible 
Welcome back from that awesome time we always have whenever we praise God. Yeah, welcome back. I All danced right. and I hope you had fun dancing. Yeah, I did, I did, I did too, I did too. So, we go straight into the lesson. Yeah, the first thing we talked about was bullying. Bullying. Hmm, I'm sure... Oh, where were you bullied in school? Oh yeah, sure I was. <laughs> I was. I'm sure everyone has gotten yeah. their own, you know, any fair share of fair share of bullying one yeah. way or the other. And maybe you also are probably been bullying someone. Hmm. But we learned that it is wrong for you to bully anyone, and it is wrong for you to be bullied, bullied as a child of God. Yes. And we know what we're supposed to do whenever you are being bullied, right? Yes. When you're bullied, you stand up for yourself and make sure you report to an adult, your teacher or your parent. Don't ever keep quiet when you're being bullied, please. Don't ever keep quiet, no matter what. Exactly, yes. So always, just like Aunt Christia said, whenever you're being bullied, report to higher authority. All right, so we go to the next, um, we go to the next um, topic. topic, which is what? Peer pressure. Peer pressure. And Chris, yeah. you want to talk about that? All right. Yes, peer pressure. What's peer pressure? Follow, follow. Some of you are follow, follow. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know that time that there are some cute people in school that you feel like, ah, this person is a happening You want to be girl, like them. Or happening boy. And you want to be like them. And even when you know they are doing wrong things, you'll be supporting them and following them just because you want to be recognized to be part of mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. happening clique. Mm -hmm. We learned this time that it's wrong, right? Yeah. So you're, you're special. You are unique, made in God's image and likeness so be the pay the pace setter okay don't be the follow follow always make sure that you stand up right and do the right thing you know we saw someone in the bible That's and correct. that was um, daniel right yeah daniel had an excellent spirit you know he served a lot of kings and were also taught that Everybody knew Daniel to be a prayerful person. Yeah, and even when, when they were looking for one, because they were so jealous, because nobody, you know, every, just, Daniel was just too excellent. They're like, how can this guy be just excellent? They were now looking for something, you know, to dent his image, image yeah. you know? And that was when they, they, talked, they, they talked about um, telling the king to make that law. Yeah. But even after that law, Daniel did not do follow follow. That's correct. Daniel did what he opened his window and prayed. You know, so as children of God, let's always learn to be the pet sitters. Do the right thing, even if everyone is doing the wrong thing. Don't be that person that, you know, today you are blue. Today you are a liar because your friend is lying. <laughs> we are That's not a, you are we are a chameleon. <laughs> no, we're not chameleons. <laughs> All right. So yeah. we go to the next topic, which is what? Sexual harassment. Now, you know this. Number one, our body is the temple of God. God yeah. And... Given that, you know, that belongs to God and your body is not supposed to be violated by anyone. In other words, you shouldn't allow anybody to touch in your private areas in a sexual way. And you know, yeah. we, we, we are taught quite a number of things that, or we were taught what uh, sexual harassment is, okay? And the things that we're supposed to do when you feel, or if you feel that you're being sexually, sexually what? Harassed. harassed. Yeah. I think generally, no, so you shouldn't disrespect people's body and yeah. you shouldn't disrespect your body. Don't allow anyone touch you. Any, even your, you, the, the, you know we have good touch and bad touch. Nobody should touch you anyhow, whether it's exactly. on your hand or nobody should touch you anyhow. And anytime anything like that is happening, ensure you talk to somebody. Exactly. Tell your parents, tell exactly. your teachers. Exactly. And if someone ever threatens you that, if you tell your parents you will die or threatens you in fact anytime there is a threat then you should know that you really need to speak up That's don't correct. keep quiet yeah, don't okay keep quiet. don't keep quiet yeah. because when you keep quiet it will thrive exactly yeah exactly exactly well said and christine so the next point is i mean the next lesson i mean was um sibling rivalry mm -hmm. yes i think i should say this <laughs> your brother and your sister are in no competition with you at all when your parents gave birth to all of you it wasn't for you guys to compete yeah, all right you are you are a team okay and you must do everything that protects the interest of every member of your family but wait till uncle femi did you fight with your siblings well, well. <laughs> did you fight with your siblings you know siblings fight a lot that's and correct then, you that's know, correct. there's always wanting to argue that's and correct. you say who moved my shoes from this place why did you put my toy on you this know? you know <laughs> 
But even as we do that, let's do it in love. Exactly. Okay? Don't exactly. hate your siblings. Exactly. Some people feel like maybe mommy likes this person more, daddy likes, and you see you breeding animosity or being yeah. angry in your heart. Another, yeah. No, let's love ourselves. Eh? Yeah. You know, there's no need for siblings rivalry. It can really be bad. You know, we saw siblings rivalry in the Bible. Cain and Abel. That's correct. That yes. was actually siblings rivalry. Yeah. And yeah. at the end, what happened? Cain killed Abel. You know, that was really bad. Very, very so bad. So don't, don't, don't ever get to that point love your siblings even as you fight fight in love argue in love settle in love and play in in love, love. <laughs> yeah so the next lesson was low self-esteem mm. you know and um, this is a very very uh, important topic lesson that i enjoyed listening to because quite a number of people think very low of themselves they they um how do i put it every other person is exactly better, than, better them. than them listen god the bible says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and god has given each one of us a special gift exactly. so everybody's gifted so don't ever think that uh, you're not gifted or anybody's way better than you no we're all gifted in our own unique way so always remember that god has made you fearfully especially and in a wonderful way to to maximize your gift to excel in your gifts and the things that you want that you do yeah. so you shouldn't think low of yourself and you should also you shouldn't feel that you're better, better than, than everybody yeah, you're not better than anybody and nobody is better than you we are all wonderful so look into yourself be proud of yourself be confident everybody makes mistakes too everybody has one will you know you know we're always scared of ah i'm mm. failing you see yeah. we all have strengths we all have weaknesses so when you have weaknesses you work on it and your area of strength you man you magnify it that's okay correct. so yeah. don't ever feel like no you're not worthy no that's low self-esteem you are beautiful you are handsome you are excellent you are the best do you know that there is no other version of you in the whole wide world yeah. like yeah. there's only one copy yeah. unique copy of you so yeah. you are really special exactly. so you need to always feel special yeah and always remember to say that to yourself over and over again, again. so the next lesson is cheating hmm you know um sometimes for some people because they didn't do well in a certain subject in school and the next exam so that they can do very because uh, the person that came first was given a very i mean was given a prize and you're like oh i also want to get the prize for that so because you want to get that you now begin to cheat during the exam that's wrong. that's really wrong as a child of god you're not supposed to do that yeah okay if you want to get good grades what are you supposed to do Please, you study you study, read work hard okay you work hard whatever assignment that is given to you you make sure that you want that you do, do it, it. You cannot get to the top by cheating. No cheating is way. wrong because when you are caught, you'll be punished. Yeah, and I, I think cheating is not only during exams too. You know, some of us, when we're playing games, we're desperate, yeah. we want to win. Yeah. You'll cheat, you know, you'll yeah. be cutting corners. Cheating cuts yeah. across everything. Don't do that, okay? It's, 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 it's a bad behavior. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't be a cheat. Do you know how you feel if someone cheats you? Now, when you put yourself in another person's shoe, you'll find out that uh, the person will also feel bad when they are cheated. That's correct. So we shouldn't be cheats. That's correct. So the next topic is self-entitlement. Hmm. You know this topic, you know, for some of, or quite a number of us, when we do things for people, nice things for people, we do it because we care about them, right? Yeah. But we shouldn't demand and say to the person, you must buy me this yeah. because I bought this for you. That is completely wrong. You shouldn't do that. Remember that whatever you do for somebody or whatever they do to you is an expression of love, love and yeah, care. Exactly. So you shouldn't demand that. You shouldn't be boastful yeah. and say, you must do this for me. If you don't do this for me, you're not going to be my friend again. Yeah. It's wrong. Or being ungrateful too. That, exactly. You, know, you have that. Is this is more thing that you even gave me. <laughs> you know, a letter about that. That's being ungrateful. Like, see, 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 Seth, mommy, yeah, just look at know, the kind of sauce that you even say, bought for me. Look at the. And, and, and you know, some of that, it could be a book, and you'd be like, what kind of book is what this? What kind of book is this? It's you know? not even does have any, it doesn't have any pictures. In it. I don't want to get me a real no. book with pictures. You know? <laughs> yeah, learn to be grateful. Don't, don't, don't right. have that self yeah. entitlement mentality. All right, so the last topic is drug abuse. Mm. Hello. Even if your mom gives you syrup, maybe cough syrup or anything. You know, cough syrup can be sweet, right? I know, I think it's good. 
I want that. I want. I want that cough syrup again. Maybe when your mom is not around, then you go to the shop where it is and you go. And no. Man, take some. Oh that's my god, drug. that's wrong. When you do that, that's drug abuse. Remember, when you take drugs that aren't prescribed by you, I mean by the by doctor, doctor, all right, and you begin to take it, that's drug abuse. Yes. And it could yeah. be harmful to you actually because you can take an overdose. Yeah. And yes. if you if you take an overdose, you might land in the hospital. The, the, and drug abuse we also know that there are also other kinds of drugs yeah that's yeah, correct so we as children of god need to be sensitive yeah you don't go to school and someone gives you a drug and you take and it you take it yes you don't do that you don't go to school and someone is taking things you don't even know what concussion it is or whatever it is and yeah. you're taking it so you need to be very careful so you need to be aware that there's something like drug abuse and it can be taking different kinds of drugs and um, they are not prescribed to you by your doctors yeah. or have drugs too you know as much as we are young we have maybe teenagers around us be very very careful say no to drug abuse make sure you don't take any drug that you don't know your doctor did not prescribe to you yeah yes and when mommy keeps drugs especially people that like vitamin c don't go and be drinking <laughs> taking all the vitamin c and think that I it drink, is sweet I that you are taking all at once so the you ones know, the, so the tablets you want to take a hundred tablets <laughs> at, at once same time. okay all right this has been an exciting two months for all of the things that we have learned and yeah. i think that christy i think we say prayer right yes. that god should help us to not just only hear these things but we should be doers of it that god should help us to exhibit behaviors that show that we are children of of god all right so can you pray please okay in jesus name amen father we thank you thank you lord thank you for the opportunity to have heard your word thank you lord lord help us not to be into bad behavior give us the spirit of discernment to amen. know the kind of friends to choose amen. teachers help us to be good children amen help us to be able to speak up whenever we are bullied or find ourselves being sexually harassed amen. help us to know you better and know how to keep away from this bad behavior in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen okay so i just want to say a prayer for anyone who's watching me right now if you've not asked jesus to come into your heart I want you to take that decision right now, okay? So if you're watching me, just put your right hand on your chest and close your eyes and say this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you because you sent Jesus to die on the cross for me. I believe that his blood has washed away all of my sins. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior. My Lord and from, Savior. This moment, from this moment, I declare, I declare that, I that I am a child of God. I am part, I am part of, God's family. of God's family. Amen. Amen. Wow, that's an exciting prayer that you have just said. You know what? You are now a part of God's family. Yeah. God calls you his child now, and you can call God your father and we can call you our brother, brother or sister. our sister amen. amen okay so be proud of what you have just done whenever you go out tell your friends that i just gave my life to jesus i am now part of god of god's family amen, amen. so with that we've come to the end of this service wow the service has come to an end well, we didn't take our memory better. oh yeah i've forgotten that thank you for reminding me reminding me okay. so we're going to take our memory verse once again it's the memory verse that we've been saying from the beginning of this month right to this very moment the memory verse is from first corinthians 6 verses 19 i'm going to say that again first, first corinthians, corinthians 6, 6 verses verse 19. 19 and it says do you not know that your bodies are temples of the holy spirit who is in you whom you have received from god you are not your Oh, I'll read that one more time. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. All right, so, we've got the memory verse. It's time to end the service. service. We're going to see you next Sunday by God's grace, okay? Yeah. But until that time, continue to stay safe, continue to stay healthy, and bye-bye from us, bye. and God bless you.
the whole of me is for you at the center of it all you were there cause my body is for you my body Better. 